As you can see, we're going to go over uh, Reckoning Acoustic, Jack O'Rell, and uh, beloved version, as all of us know. Best one out of the run they picked, of course. They just cherry-picked out of that run and made an album out of it. This is definitely the best one. I've listened to a handful of them, and this is the one. So uh, I'm going to show you all the licks that Bob does. He mainly stays up, up, up here. Jerry sticks down here. Jerry's down here while Bob's all these inversions up here so there's m multiple ways to do this there's so many different this is just a circle so they just do it however he's feeling it however Jerry's soloing he follows them and uh, wherever the run is taking them so um, when he st when it starts out Jerry does that little does that into that and then he strums one two one two one, two on the two you're gonna strum So if he's up here doing this, or if he's down here. Um, in live versions that I've seen, I've seen him go down here when Jerry's soloing, and then when as soon as Jerry stops soloing, he moves back up. But you can do this at A minor right here. It's uh, this seven on the D string with your ring finger, and then the five with your index finger, and kind of just don't play the bottom strings. Kind of sometimes leave them open, sometimes don't even play them. But it sounds like the bottom string on the opening when he starts strumming. So I would say he starts out. And then when Jerry starts singing, this is when you move up to this A minor. The five and the seven that I just told you. This is an exception one. You don't have to do the top A, you can. I like to do it without it because it's that the A string's already open right there, so it fix an exception. So when Jerry starts singing, the chords are A minor, C. I like to do this C right here. It sounds like he's doing this C. Sometimes he puts the pinky on, sometimes he puts the pinky on, on the B, sometimes he puts the pinky on the E. Sometimes he doesn't put the pinky on at all and it's just this. Again, it's like the A minor. Just move your ring finger up to the A string and bar your index finger. Now that's a C. These two fingers are droning, middle and pinky. E7, it's this, this E, just tr the triangle right there. Seven, six, seven. So, B minor. Back to A minor, C, F. Now you can do this F right here, the C shape F. Or you can do this F is pinky on the eighth, ring finger on the seventh, index finger on the fifth, and the middle finger on the sixth. And it's just the C shape inversion if you go all the way down here. So the F right there, or the just the bar F. This one right here. So A minor, C, E7. And you're really your emphasis is on the is on the two. Two and four, however you count it. I count it one, two, one, two, one, two. You can do one, two, three, four, one, two. But when you snap one, two, three, four, you want to strum. Sometimes he doesn't, he goes off the two. One. On the three, he emphasizes the two and the three is his emphasis. Back 
the C after the F. A minor, E7, A minor. So like I said, there's so many different ways to do this. You could do A minor right here. You could do A minor right here. if you want because it's that open A again, exception. So let's play with the chord a little bit. Of this C, you could also just do this bar C. It's like this, but without the bar, you just bottom three or bottom four. You're here, you're here, you'll hear him go in this part, and that's when you know he's on this. Sometimes he might he might be doing that inversion. This is the one that I told you, the five to seven, but with your pinky on. It's one of the two. For the E7, instead of doing this E7, the triangle, you're gonna do the bar, but then you're gonna emphasize the seven, so you're gonna put the seven in the bar, and then you're gonna have your pinky on the ninth on the B, and then ring, ring finger on the ninth on the D, and then on the G string, you're gonna have your bar emphasizing the seventh. This A minor too. This is just a one five one, so there's no three, so it's an exception as well. One five one five one. And when you don't have a three, you're not emphasizing the major or the minor. So this is a little trick that Bob uses too, throwing in this inversion for minors or majors. Both of them, it works for both. But um, in this case, it's in the minor, but you can still do this. I've seen him also emphasize from the B to the C. Do this inversion, the triangle right here. It's like this E7, but it's A minor. Open A. 10, 9, 10. Emphasize the 9 to the 10 on the D string. When you're going into the A minor, that's a trick you could do. So it's like. However you want to do that. So many different ways to do it. He kind of emphasizes almost all of them in this in this version. This is my favorite one. Um, G string or D string and B string start on the twelfth. Uh, start up to the thirteenth. Emphasizes that little harmony with it. But the main riff is. That's mainly at the end of every little segment of the verse. You'll hear him do that. So I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna play along with it for a little bit. One more thing. This inversion right here, you can hear him throw in the on the E. So when it's like C. Seven. He, instead of just doing E7, he kind of just throws in the E major with the, with the third, but putting this fifth on because emphasizing that that's the next note up is up is the A minor note or going down. So he's kind of just like an in between. So you hear him throw that in sometimes. Like C. E. Just kind of like a passing E. All right, here we go. 
So that's another little trick he does. He doesn't do the full. He just does. Hold on. Just the emphasis on the B to the A. So yeah, that's another one you can throw in at the very end of the. Uh, you can see that that little was at the end of almost every, every segment of the verse. So when he's like, Oh, you love had to be. Ba -na 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 -na. That's your that's your response to Jerry's. -na 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 -na. You're going. -na 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 he does that. Bob does this a lot. He does a lot of response licks when Jerry's lick is over. This is a, another quick example is bird song when Jerry goes. Bob goes. Response. Jerry. Bob. Like he, when Jerry's done his riff, Bob does the little answer. Like he does this all throughout, and you'll see that in my lessons. I'll try to get as much of them out as I can. But uh, this is another one where he's kind of just -na 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 -na. -na 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 -na. just a different part of the chord. He's doing a lick, so you'll hear that often through this. And then, so uh, uh, something else in this version, when Jerry starts soloing, this this version in particular. You hear Jerry go, and Bob going. You'll hear Bob go. Jerry like breaks for I, I I don't know. I guess they must they must have practiced this one. But it sounds like Jerry just leaves the spot open for Bob to throw in this little. Or maybe they hit it at the same time. Right there, that sounded like a bob. And Jerry kind of just stopped right there. It's just so seamless, I love that. And that's a nice little thing to throw in to show the complimentary, how much they're complimenting each other and how much they give space, each other space. See when Jerry starts to do chords, Bob's starting to do these all these little all these little single note lines. It's very subtle in the background. <laughs> he likes to do that one a lot. So he still 
sticking with the chord. There's another little. So it's all kind of the tricks that I, I was teaching you. Um, there's some single notes in there that I haven't quite picked out, but uh, I feel like if you listen close enough, you'll be able to get them. There's so many different versions too, so there's so many different ways to do this. Like I said, I'm just trying to give you the outline of the different versions he's doing. So let's run through it a couple more times and hopefully I can help you out with it. <laughs> I noticed that there's this little section where he kind of does this little. He kind of emphasizes that two to the minor third. <laughs> it's super subtle in the back. It's not even really something you need to do, but it's just I'm trying to point out the bop stuff for you. So, so you go 14, 12 to 14 on the G, and then 14 on the G to the 12 on the E again, and then to the 15. So he's kind of just up, that's what he's doing. He's emphasizing this inversion right here of A minor. This is the switch of all the way up to the next octave. helps guys thanks for watching as always and uh if you have any requests let me know i'll take them and i'm doing the versions that you all have requested me i'm going through them um tons of new content coming thanks for watching